Hey, what's up everyone? It is your friend Keith again here at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England. I've got a crazy rare guitar to show you today. I bought this the second I saw it, had to have it, because I've just never seen one before. This is a 1989 ESP Custom Shop Flying V. You've probably already noticed this thing is virtually identical to a Jackson King V. You've got the Jackson pre-lawsuit headstock, Jackson Mother of Pearl shark fin inlays, uh, two humbucker EMG configuration. There's an original Floyd Rose. And uh, yeah, you've got the symmetrical tips, just like a King V. What's different is you've got uh, beveled edges, and we'll show you that more in a second when we pull it out. Check out the beautiful original case as well. There's a little bit of tape on the case. Um, show you the outside there. That's that. We've got a big storage compartment right here. I think we've even got the original box that this case shipped in way back when. All right, so I'm gonna pull it out here. We're pulling it out. Put that down very gently. Okay, all one-handed. Not bad. Very gently, cool. All right, so here we go. I see some fingerprints on there, sorry. There are your edges. Zooming in. And there. And you can see what I'm talking about with the uh, gradual bevel that tapers off and then disappears. Really cool. Nice take on the King V design. The other thing that's different that I'm a huge fan of is this is a bolt-on neck. So um, you have the nice unfinished maple feel on the back. And you never have to worry about something happening to the neck and the entire guitar being trash. It looks like it might be dual EMG 81s. That's my guess. There's the bridge there. The tip. Cool. Uh, ebony fretboard. Again, this very much like a Jackson. Now, what's different is the neck construction. Um, aside from it being a bolt-on, with Jacksons, you usually have a, uh, I guess what you would call a two-piece maple neck with a uh, scarf joint. But here... You've got a three-piece maple neck. So you've got one, two, and three. Beautiful piece of wood, too. Japanese, probably Goto tuners, made in Japan, as you can see there. No serial number on the back of the headstock at this time. Uh, I believe it's in the neck pocket. Here's your tremolo cavity. There you go, guys. That's the guitar. Really nice. Nice and thin here too, so you don't have uh, a lot of meat and real estate going on. You can access all these high frets down here, no problem. Just a really good looking guitar. I know plenty of you on the channel are probably gonna freak out because we get, anytime I have a uh, ESP from this era with the, with the Jackson headstock, everybody goes nuts. They're um, few and far between. And like I said, this one, this is the only one I've ever seen. Original case. 
very good condition overall. As far as blemishes go, there's little marks here and there. Like there's a little mark, uh, a couple little marks there. Like I said, it's a, it's a bit dirty. Um, little bits, you know, super presentable though. You can see the paint is glossy. You can see the reflection of everything up there, you know, that's great. And then on the front, let's take a look here. Um, let's see the neck pocket. Can we zoom in or can we, let's get focused, focused. So there's the, the neck there and the neck there. Classic little hairlines in the lacquer. Well guys, I think that pretty much covers all the bases. Um, little mark there. But you get the idea of what this guitar is. Oh, you can see my reflection. What's up? Hey, cool. Well, that's the guitar. I'm gonna sign off because we've got so many videos to do. I'm very far behind. Thanks for hanging out with me and checking out this rare ESP. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, would you have this one or would you have the Jackson? Curious to hear that too. I really like an unfinished neck and before I was a neck through purist, but I have uh, changed my ways. I'm a big fan of bolt-on necks. But yeah, guys, thanks for hanging out. Please subscribe to the channel. We've got, I think, 466 subscribers today. So we are rapidly hitting, approaching that 1000 mark. Um, we're over 70,000 minutes uh, every, I was looking at the analytics for 28 days. We're over 70,000 minutes watched over 33,000 views. Uh, number one viewership comes from America where I'm from. Number two is the UK. Number three is Canada. Number four is Mexico and number five is Germany. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching from all over the place. And we've got viewers from virtually every country in the world. It's awesome. Head on over to our Facebook too. It's uh, Essex Recording Studios, E-S-S-E-X. -S -S -E Give us a like and stay in touch. We're on Instagram at Essex Recording Studios and Twitter at Essex Recording. I'll see you all soon in the next video. Bye.